Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. And in this one here, I want to talk... Hold on, I fixed my mic here. In this one here, I want to talk about Sherry because we actually got some confirmation now that she is going to be in Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. As for in what capacity, that's what we have to talk about. But Fear the Walking Dead on their Twitter page, they posted this photo here with the caption, Is this a dream or a reunion? Hashtag Fear the Walking Dead. So... I want to talk about that specifically because, I mean, could this be a dream or is it just a reunion? So I do want to talk about all of that. So, of course, before we begin, I do have to warn you for spoilers for Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. And I guess the Walking Dead Seasons 7 to, I guess not really 10, but 7 to 9, 8 around there. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. Like I said, because it is January, we're in the new year, we're past all the holidays and stuff. A lot of this stuff is going to start really coming out now because we're just over a month away until The Walking Dead returns. Very soon, in like a month or so, they'll probably reveal the trailer for Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about. I might actually do a video on the trailer depending on how good the trailer is. It's mostly depending on how it looks and stuff like that. If it still seems like it's going to be a lot like Fear Season 4 or 5, I might not. It really depends on my interest in it. I'm definitely going to watch it. I definitely will talk about it. We'll see. I am interested in the Sherry and Dwight thing, and it's funny because I just did a video talking about the possibility of Sherry returning to Fear the Walking Dead. Gimple literally talked about it in an interview with EW. Like He was asked, is Sherry going to be in Fear the Walking Dead? And he basically just said, uh, I don't know. I'm not the one to say. She's a strong character. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm paraphrasing there, but yeah, we got the confirmation now that yes, Sherry is going to be in Fear the Walking Dead Season 6, but in what capacity? Well, let's talk about that. So just to give my quick reaction to this photo, it's I don't really know where they're at right now, but it looks like obviously some kind of parking garage like warehouse thing where they're kind of going underneath into some kind of facility or something like that. I'm not sure if the light that's cast on them is is like natural light from outside and they're like at the opening of of that or if that's just from like a camera light and they have lights there or what have you. It's hard to tell in, in that way, but both of them are together here and just based off of the way Sherry is dressed. I don't really think this is a dream because, again, the caption says, is this a dream or a reunion? And so if it was a dream, then Dwight would be, I guess, dreaming that. I mean, obviously, he could be dreaming that Sherry's there. The reason why it just doesn't make any sense for it to be a dream is because this obviously has to be happening within the first episode or two or three episodes of Fear the Walking Dead because I think they've started filming pretty recently or something like that and they're probably only three or four episodes in or around there anyways, right? And so if Dwight's already dreaming about Sherry, I just, I don't know, I don't see the point in that because where he's at currently He's kind of already over Sherry, I guess, in a way. Not over her, but he doesn't really... Like, there's no need to go and search for her immediately. And so if he's dreaming about her early on in the season, like in the first, first, second, or third episode, I just... I don't know. I don't really see the point in it. I mean, maybe they could do some kind of dream sequence where he has this dream about Sherry, and Sherry's guilting him about, you know, ignoring her, not finding him, her, and then he kind of makes it his quest again. But I feel like we've already seen that. It's just kind of... I, I don't want this season to be going to go find Sherry and then at some point he just finds her I just want them to get to the point with it have her there and I think a way they could do it is potentially if Sherry is the one that saves Morgan because if you remember Morgan was really really badly wounded in the season 5 finale of Fear the Walking Dead and a lot of us have been wondering I mean I, I know he's not going to die if he died in that way uh I mean ex expect an angry rant video because as if you would actually kill Morgan off in that way. Like, that's just so, so ridiculous. You kill him off on fear without Rick or anyone involved and, and with a cliffhanger like that? Just no, no, you, you don't do that. And so a lot of us have been wondering, how is he going to survive? And I feel like Sherry might be the one that saves him, just because it makes a lot of sense if you consider the fact that Morgan might know where they're going, and, I mean, even if he doesn't, I guess, no, he might have an idea. Or maybe Sherry has an idea. Morgan and Sherry could go travel to where Dwight and them are. And then maybe in the premiere or in episode two or three, we actually get that reunion. Again, I just really don't think this is going to be a dream. I mean, if you're just looking at what Sherry is wearing here, her clothing is very, very dirty. It's not like, you know, I feel like if Dwight was going to dream anything of her, she wouldn't be wearing this outfit. She'd be wearing a more clean outfit or she would be... She would look similar to what she was wearing last. It wouldn't be exactly this. I mean, like I could be nitpicking with that, but she looks like she's been on the road for a while. 
right? In this in this image, it, it looks like she's been on the road for a while. So I do think it's real. I do think Sherry is going to reunite with Dwight. I, I, could you imagine if they actually brought her there for a dream sequence and they never actually reunited? Like how pissed off people would be? It's like, because it's not like it's a storyline that people are that excited for in general anyways. I'm excited to see those two characters together and it's really fun. But for how long it's been drawn out for, it's like, okay, just get to the point already. And so if it's a dream sequence, then I just like, oh my God. But I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. And I, I think this could be a very, very exciting part of Fear the Walking Dead season six, actually having these two characters together, which is just so crazy because Fear the Walking Dead has just changed so much if you think about it. Like, now we have Morgan, Dwight, and Sherry on that show. It just, it literally feels like The Walking Dead. It actually feels like season six, I would say. It just feels like season six of The Walking Dead. I really can't believe how much the show has transformed. It's really, really remarkable. I mean, despite if you're a fan of it or not, like, you have to admit that the show has changed a lot, right? It could be a good thing or a bad thing. But you just, you think about season one, you had Travis there. You had Madison, you know, Nick. Um, Chris was there. You had that the Clark family, and now it's not even about the Clark family at all. It's so different. You have Dwight, Sherry here, and like Morgan's there now, and there's just a totally different story too. Totally different location. Totally different feeling. Everything has just changed so so much that I just I I don't know. I can't believe a show. I, I can't believe that this show has just changed this much. It's just really insane. I mean, visually, just everything. It looks very different from what it used to look like. One thing that people could be pointing out that could be in favor of it being a dream sequence is the fact that they're both holding hands just because, I mean, I don't know the status of their relationship. You know, and even before, I feel like they really weren't really together. I feel like they were just like really, really good friends. And then I feel like they already had a bad relationship just because Sherry doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like they have that strong of a bond anyways. I feel like Dwight really, really like loves Sherry. And then Sherry's just kind of like, oh, yeah, cool kind of thing. But I don't know, because we haven't really gotten that much time with Sherry. The last thing I remember, Sherry basically blew Dwight off because of all that stuff going on with Negan. She was one of Negan's wives and stuff. And I think she left. Like, I can't remember. I have to go and rewatch all that stuff with Sherry. The point is, could they be holding hands already if they just met? She was leaving clues for him behind. There was a lot of stuff like that. It did. It does seem like they care for each other. And so maybe their relationship gets torn apart later on. Maybe they realize they're just so different. Spending all that time away from each other just, you know, changed them as people. And now they can't really be together. So maybe right now it's a happy reunion. But towards the end of the season, it's not really. Like Dwight at, at a certain point is like, yeah, I don't really need you. Which I personally would really be frustrated about because... In terms of writing, that's the easiest thing you can do with that. That's the easiest thing to, to create conflict or drama is just do that. Like, oh, you're expecting it to be like this, so we're going to do this. And immediately conflict. Oh, my God. It's like, no, keep them together. Do something else interesting. Like, be creative. And so as for what season six is going to be like with Sherry being there, I really do not know. I have no clue whatsoever because I don't really remember what happened in the second half of Fear the Walking Dead. Like, I know I didn't watch every episode. I know I watched the finale and I, I learned about who Ginny was and stuff like that, but I don't really know what location or organization or whatever the hell she's from. Who is she working with? Is she the leader of everything? Like, I don't know everything about that. Where is that location and stuff? I mean, I probably have to rewatch se or season five of Fear the Walking Dead to know, but I know everyone was split up and everyone's likely, I mean, literally the way I'm envisioning it is everyone's split up. Everyone's going to be in like a cell kind of thing. Maybe not like a cell, but they'll be in different parts of this base, I guess, or something. And Morgan, I mean, he's left out just dying right now. And I mean, logically, if you think about it, he can't heal himself. I just don't see that being a possibility. And so someone has to save him. And that could be a new character or it's going to be Sherry. And I feel like it's going to be Sherry. It just, that was a popular theory when the season ended. And I feel like that's probably going to be the case. Sherry's going to pop in, save Morgan. And then we eventually get this reunion and, you know, they'll both travel there. Like the first part of the season seems like it could be exciting because if you just think about where we're going, we're going to a new place. Our characters are in this bad situation. We now have Sherry and we're going to see that reunion with Dwight. You know, you have Morgan's situation. I feel like the next four or five episodes, six episodes could be really, really good. I just don't know what they're, you know, it could all fall apart if they don't really have a plan, if it doesn't really mean anything in the end. And lately with Fear the Walking Dead, that's always kind of been the case for me. Fear season five, I mean, there are some good parts, but most of the time it 
where did it lead up? I mean, what was the point of that season? Like nothing happened. That was a season of just nothing. I said this back then and I'll say it again. Fear the Walking Dead to me feels like it's a show about just doing casual things, walking around in your house, driving to the store, driving back home. You got some groceries. You're going to put them away in your fridge and stuff like that. And that's basically it. Go to sleep. And it's like, you know, little things could be interesting here and there. But overall, like, there's it's not bad. Like most of the time, it's not bad, but it's like it's nothing. So we'll see if season six could be different because Fear Season 5 did change from season four a little bit, at least tonally it changed. I definitely think season five was worse than season four, though, but tonally it did change. And, you know, I think it changed for the better. It, it wasn't so like gray tone like. So we'll see if they can change the color grading with this season. I hope they do, because if they if they want to make it easy on, on themselves and make it way more interesting, just do that. So many people will be thankful. You're not going to hear, hear me complaining anymore. That's an easy way to take away a lot of that criticism, but I don't know. Anyways, what do I know? It's just my opinion, but I am excited overall to see Sherry and Dwight here. I likely will watch this. I want to see this reunion, and that could be why they're doing it, but I mean, I don't care. It worked. Obviously, I want to check this out, and yeah, I want to see how these two characters reunite, or I guess maybe if it's a dream. But let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end it here. Do you guys think this is a dream, or do you think it's actually going to be a reunion? And how do you think Sherry's going to return, or not return, but appear on Fear the Walking Dead? Is she going to save Morgan, or is she just going to be wherever Dwight's going? Post your thoughts down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this, and thanks for watching.